Greetings fellow Poltermasters, I am Crash Rouser, and it's once again time to crash these guns with another top 5 video. Now, this is really a top 5 video, this is kind of a discussion video, but regardless, it's still another top, uh, till, it's still another 5 things in a video. So if you guys may have heard the news, if you haven't, be prepared. There is no new Skylander game coming out this year. I know, it's devastating. It's really sad to think about it. We had six years in a row we had a Skylander game coming out, and this year there isn't one. Because it was exactly a year ago, the day I was filming this, that Imaginators was announced. So, usually around this time the game would be announced, so this year I think they're taking some time off. But I thought maybe they actually ran out of ideas. And I mean, myself, I have a few ideas to talk about. And Skylanders, Skyland Team, Activision, all you guys, you can listen, but if you want to use these ideas, we gotta make a deal here. I want to voice a character in one of the games. So if you want one of my ideas, you gotta use my voice. And I can talk in a million different accents too, don't worry. So, I can give you a, like a voice, like what is it, an audition? I can do that. But I mean, if you want one of my ideas, you gotta talk to me first. So today, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about the top five, or my five personal game ideas for future Skylander games. So as always, this list is my personal opinion, and what I'm going to do is just do a discussion video. It's going to be no gameplay, no nothing like that. I'm just going to be talking to you guys directly. And I want to know what you guys think. Do you guys think the five are going to be a good idea? And let me know what your ideas are in the comments below. But be careful! Remember to make a clause, too. Because if Skylar Games sees it, and they happen to use the game, eh, it might be good for you, but we'll get right down to it right now. So my first one is pretty much a given. Um, as you know, the first game came out back in 2011, which was a while ago, and that was just when the new generation systems, which were, you know, the place, the PS3, the Wii was still new, Xbox 360, everything like that. So I would love to see the first Skylanders game remastered. Now, Skylanders Bio Adventure Remastered will be great alone, but I feel like they should take every single one from all six of the generations and put them into the game, somehow. So make certain areas only accessible for trap masters, or make a certain area where you have to switch up swap forces, or a separate racetrack just for the superchargers. It'd be really cool to see everything that they can put into the game with all of the games that were related to it. So it'd be nice to take the game, remaster it to more vivid, beautiful HD, and put all the other Skylanders into it and just have more things involved with it, have like certain giant areas and all that kind of stuff. So it'd be nice to see a game, the first game remastered, but with a bunch of new stuff added. The second one, speaking of being Skylander Spyro's Adventure, there's a reason. there should be a reason it should be called Spyro's Adventure, and it's not really Spyro, because you can play as 31 other characters, which you can see right there. Or is he my dragon like I can play as another 7. So I would love to see how Spyro came from the other games he had, like Into the Dragonfly, Year of the Dragon, all of those stuff, even The Legend of Spyro, that led him in to joining the Skylanders. The same with Cinder. I'd love to see Spyro and Cinder, how they joined the Skylanders. It'd be interesting to see the kind of story they have, and I mean, it's kind of one of those games that would just have to focus on those two, but I mean, you could have the other Skylanders involved with it, so you can use other Skylanders for certain areas where Spyro would team up with them, so you can do double player mode, or you can do two players where a person will be Spyro, but then have one of the original Skylanders in there with them. So it'd be nice to see if what they can do is take that and do a prequel to the first game, and to all six games for that matter. And speaking of kind of those stories, I would love to see the origins of the rest of the Elon, Eons Elite. Now, I know there's a couple in here now, like Boomer, and Zook, and Dinarang, and Voodoo, they're all like the actor ones, but I'd love to see the original eight do a, like an origin story to see how they became the first ever Skylanders. So that would involve uh, Spyro, Trigger Happy, Gil Grunt, Terrafin, Whirlwind, Chop Chop, and Eruptor. So it'd be really nice to see the eight of them get involved, and even to see how Light and Dark got involved in two Skylanders, because it kind of just appeared in Trap Team. So I'd like to see just an origin to see how the Skylanders started, and you can do all the story with the original eight, and use the Eons Elite, for example, in them. So you can use the regular characters, and then they release an exclusive Eons Elite for the new game, which would be pretty cool. And speaking of origins, I would love to know why your boy Chaos turned out the way he was. Um, I think this would be a kind of weird game because we've already been able to play as Chaos because we had him in Trap Team, he's a, he's a trap. We have him in the new Imaginators as just a regular Sensei. And we have him as a racer in Superchargers. So it'll be interesting to see how he became the, the Skylander villain. Something happened when he was a child, something like that. Maybe, he, maybe the whole thing was he started off as a Skylander. And you can see his story with him and Eon together. It'd be really cool to see just the story that would involve with him 
turning out to be Skyland's biggest villain, and just what caused him to be the supervillain. Now the last one, you have to bear with me on this one, okay? You gotta listen close. So I know Pokemon Go, that fad is over with. Myself, I still play Pokemon Go, I love it. Gen 2 is my favorite, you've seen in the Pokemon Go Nuzlocke. If you haven't, go watch it, it's a very good series, it's ending soon actually. But, I thought about it and I'm like, wouldn't it be cool to have a Skylander mobile game? Similar to Pokemon Go, like Skylanders Go. Now, it's not going to be like that where you go to a Pokestop and you be able to, or you go to a Skylander stop, or a Portal stop, whatever you want to call it, and you spin it and you collect things for all that, but there's still things like that. But what you can do is you can take your actual Skylanders, because all the Skylanders have a unique code to them, which you can put into another game, which you put into the universe and Lost Isles and all that stuff, which is already mobile games, but you can take them and put them in the game and that's your Skylanders. So that day you can use, use one Skylander per day and you can go to each area and, like, It'll say, let's say, it'll say on your phone that it'll be, um, there's a Pokestop right up the road for me, so that'll be one of the stops. So it'll be like, this part spot's under attack. So you can go up there with your Skylander, fight the area, and then defend it. Your Skylander gains experience, and it's an awesome way to get your Skylanders that are already available that you don't have fully leveled up to get more levels up. And then there's little events and things like that that can have it up. There could be a big event where you can stop chaos and everything like that. So it'll be a cool way to keep, to have your Skylanders on mobile and be able to level them up, along with getting some exercise, getting some fresh air. I mean, it's cl getting close to summer, not here, unfortunately, but it's getting close to summer, so it'd be awesome to be able to go out and be able to play with Skylanders. And it'd be cool to get kids out and more involved with the, um, just be out in public, you're out in public, out in the outside and just involving and just being having fun with the friends. Even though they're on a mobile phone, they're still outside getting fresh air and activity. Because the one thing that Pokemon Go did was not only opened up, reopen a fandom, but also got people out and involved with the public, which is really cool. Because there's so many people who came really close to other people because of this. And that's one thing I would love to see with Skylanders Go, which we won't call it that, we'll call it like Portermeister Ahoy, I don't know. The name is, the name is that bonkers me, I can't think about it, but I would love to see a mobile game that you can literally walk around and level up your Skylander just by doing missions and just walking with them, similar to Pokemon Go. So those are my five ideas for Skylander's game. Remember Activision, if you're watching this right now and you're like, hey, those are pretty good ideas, call me. Slide into my DMs on Twitter. Speaking of, my Twitter's in the description, at Crash Rousel. Always go and check me out on Twitter for all updates on new videos and things like that. Along with that, um, I'm always here on YouTube. I'm always available. Leave a comment below. Remember, if you want to leave a comment, hey, I got a game idea, remember, give a clause to Activision. Say, I want to voice a character in the game too. That's my clause. I want to voice a character in the game, Activision, if you want to use it. So hit up my DMs and I'll give you some, uh, some voice auditions and we'll go from there. How about that? Mm -hmm. Okay. But for you guys, if you did enjoy it, I would love to hear your feedback below, so leave a like down there, and if you haven't already, smash that like button! I have to say it, it's just common these days. And if you haven't, if you're new to the channel, this is a Skylander channel where I do Skylander videos every single Saturday. I have a series every th Thursday where I do the Dragon Lock, which is, which I suggest you go watch that. And also on Tuesdays I do a Pokemon, I do Pokemon Gold, Nuzlocke right now, but I think I'm going to be doing more Pokemon stuff with all of that, because I like doing Pokemon. It's one of my personal things I enjoy. So go back and watch all those videos. There's links in the description to some, some other of my kind of unorthodox videos or something like that. So if you guys enjoyed, I would love to let you know. Click the bell icon for notifications so you'll know the exact time I upload a video on the weekdays that I upload them. It's every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. That's all you need to know. But regardless, if you guys enjoyed, let me know. But as always, I bid you.